Hey YouTube, Sarah here. So I wanted to do an update on my London trip today. Um, we have the vast majority of it planned out. Um, actually, who am I kidding? The whole thing's planned. Um, we've even got a lot of the admissions for different attractions purchased. So I actually have one of my friends who's going with me actually is the one who came up with the itinerary. And it is pretty intense. It is eight pages. So it is huge. And she did a fantastic job. I am super thrilled about it. Um, I had given her a list of like, I don't know, 40 things, maybe more, um, of things I, I wanted to see over there. Now, I gave that to her knowing that I wasn't going to get to see anywhere near those 40 items. I gave her my top five and then just a bunch of other items on there um, that if we had time to fit in, great. If not, I was cool with just seeing the top five things I wanted to see. Because um, keep in mind, there's two other people going. Um, I knew that they would have things that they wanted to see as well. So I was just happy to get to go. However, she's amazing. And she fit everything on my list except for one thing on there because that was just too far away to make it, to squeeze it in. It would take like a half day or a whole day or something and we don't have that extra day. She got um, things on there that she wanted to do that I didn't have on my list. And then there was one thing on my list that the other girl um, wasn't on my list that she wanted to do. So we have, I want to say like... 66 things or something on this list so it's really cool um she's done almost everything on here and she's been there over there quite a few times so she knows exactly kind of how long things are going to take um and how long she even included like travel time like okay we needed to get on the tube at this point and get off at this point and it's going to take us this long and she's factored all that in so it should be pretty realistic that said the only thing on here that we really have a time constraint with is Stonehenge because the, you have time tickets for that. You can't just show up and buy tickets. You have to purchase them in advance online and then you have to be there at a certain time period to get in. And then we also are going to see a show. So obviously we have to be there at that time. But everything else is just kind of... You know, if we want to spend extra time someplace, we can. If we want to cut something short because we're done early, we can. Um, if we want to skip something altogether because not everything we have has, um, you have to purchase admission. Um, and some things we aren't purchasing until we get over there. So, you know, we, we have some playroom. Um, some room to play is what I meant to say. So it's not set in stone. So I know that there's a lot of people out there who are going to look at this and be like, holy cow, that's way too much. We're never going to get through all of that or think that it's crazy. And that's okay. Um, this is what our goal is and we're going to attempt it. But like I said, there is some flexibility. So that said, I will start and go through everything. I'm so excited. Okay, so we're going from a Saturday to a Sunday. So we have technically nine days, um, but two days are traveling, so we have seven days. First day is flying over there. We have a morning flight with a short layover, so we'll actually get over there around like 8, 8.30 at night. We are renting a car that evening and driving to Wales. Um, yes, it will be like, I don't know, nine, maybe later, um, before we get through customs and immigration and all that. But we are going to be used to our time zone, so it's going to feel like four o'clock to us. Um, so I'm not really worried about the three hour drive we had ahead of us at night. Um, that said, we'll stay the night over in Wales, get up the next morning and begin our first full day. Um, so we are going to go to, and I don't know how to say this because I am not Welsh, I don't speak Welsh, and I have no idea how any of the pronunciation is. But I'm going to call it Carefully Castle, and if I am wrong, please correct me, because I really would rather say it correctly. Um, so we're going to start our morning there. We decided, originally we talked about doing Cardiff Castle, but we decided that A, it's like right in the middle of town, and B, 
my friend has been there before and she was really interested in going to this other castle and I just thought it looked more like the quintessential castle like when you think of castle like this is what you think of so that's why we chose that one um, not that there are a million other not a million you know what I mean um, lovely castles that I would love to see but we just don't have the time so we had to pick one and that's why we chose that one um, now the whole reason we are going to Wales on this trip is because um, my other friend and I are huge Doctor Who fans and they have in Cardiff there is um, the Doctor Who experience and since they film a lot of the show in Wales um, there's also Dunraven Bay which is in the show called Bad Wolf Bay so we're actually gonna go there after we do the castle um, we should get there right around low tide so it's gonna look like it did in the series and We'll spend a little bit of time there just taking pictures. I mean, it's just a bay. It's like a beach, but it's it's really pretty. And I can say, oh, my gosh, that's where the doctor left Rose on the beach. And I can just nerd out for a while. and It'll be great. Um, after that, then we're going to drive into Cardiff Bay in Cardiff. And we're going to kind of check that out, um, hang out there for a while. And then we're actually going to do the Doctor Who experience. And I'm really excited about it because, like I said, I'm a big fangirl. And... Really looking forward to that. Um, and then afterwards, we'll just continue to explore Cardiff a little bit, have our have the traditional Sunday roast, and um, just kind of take it easy and head back to the hotel when we are tired. Um, and we're staying there again. Then the next morning, we actually will be getting up and drive, heading back to London, but we are making a few pit stops along the way. Number one is Bath. We are going to see the Roman baths, and we are going to explore whatever else there is in Bath, which I have done a little bit of research online. Um, I think we want to go try to see the number one Royal Crescent. Um, it won't actually be open yet because we're leaving before it even opens, so, so we can't do the tour, which is fine. Uh, I really just want to get a picture. Um, and then just kind of, we, we have a, a small amount of time um, to kind of just walk around and explore and grab lunch. Then we're going to head over to Stonehenge and um, tour that. And I'm really excited about it because I've always wanted to see that. It's one of the things that I, that was one of my top five had to do. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited about it. I don't know what else to say about Stonehenge except I'm going to take lots of pictures. Um, then we're going to head over to Windsor and we are going to tour the castle. And now we're actually going to be there only a few days before the queen celebrates her 90th birthday there. So I'm actually okay with this. Um, it's going to be crazy if we try to go during the birthday celebration. It's going to be so overcrowded and I wouldn't really be able to see the castle because there'd be way too much other stuff going on. But I want to see the castle so we're going to hit it beforehand. And then we're going to either grab dinner there and then head into London or we'll just go ahead, head back into London, drop the car off, grab dinner, and explore London a little bit more, which, again, it's going to be pretty late um, by the time we get all that done. Um, so we're not sure. We're going to kind of play that by ear. Taylor, go lay down. She doesn't want to take it out. She's mad. Um, so that's day two. Well... I'm going to go with day two, even though it's technically day three. So also um, on our way um, to the hotel, apparently our hotel is right near where there is, outside one of the tube stations, there is a police call box. Looks just like the TARDIS from Doctor Who. So we're going to grab our picture. Grab a picture next to that because we're nerds and it's great. Um, so then the next day we're going to get up and that is, we're going to the Harry Potter studio tour at Warner Brothers this day. And I'm so excited for that too, because again, I'm a big nerd and ah, um, <laughs> I'm just so excited about all of this. So we're going to spend like half a day there. We're getting up early, touring that, grabbing lunch probably there at the little cafe. So it's probably not going to be the best food and it's probably going to be expensive, but time. Um, so then we'll travel over going to the British Museum and we'll spend a good portion of the afternoon at the British Museum and then grabbing dinner somewhere. And really we're only going to kind of see the highlights of the British Museum because 
that's all we have time for, um, unless we really get sucked in and then want to skip other things. But I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, and then it looks like we're going to go check out Oxford and Regent Streets. Some of this I haven't even, like, paid that much attention to on the itinerary. Um, so we will grab dinner somewhere, check out Oxford and Regent Streets, and then we're going to do a pub walk with the London Walks Tours. And apparently it's a really cool walk. My friend's done it a few times before and loves it and wanted to drag us to it. Um, I don't think she's really having to drag us very hard because we're excited about it, too. Um... And then that's probably going to be it. I mean, we'll just hang out at the pubs, but we'll be so exhausted that we'll probably not stay out too late. The next day is our first royal day. Um, we are getting up and walking by Big Ben, Elizabeth Tower, Parliament, all of that. Um, and then we're going to go to the Churchill War Rooms which I've never done, wasn't even on my list, but my friend has done it, loved it, thinks that we will love it, says it's amazing, so we're going. Um, and then we're going to walk to Buckingham Palace from there, watch the changing of the guard, because that was on my top five. I know it sounds silly and touristy, but we don't have palaces and guards, and well, we have guards, I guess, technically, but they don't look as cool. <laughs> the B theaters are cool. Um, so then we're going to check that out. Um, let's see. Then we're going to head over to Trafalgar Square and grab lunch there. And we'll probably try to pop into St. Martin in the Fields and see if they're rehearsing or anything. Um, try to catch some of that if they are. And then we're going to go to Westminster Abbey and tour that. And I'm so excited. Ah, it's where Kate and Wills got married. Oh my gosh, and so many, a million other things. That's where Queen Elizabeth II was coronated and just, ah, so excited. Um, then we're going to walk along the Thames to the Whitehall Gardens and the Victoria Embankment Gardens and Covenant Garden and just see all this gorgeous, pretty stuff. And I'm going to take so many pictures, so many pictures. I cannot wait because um, I'm not going to forget my camera this time. Um, yeah, so then we're going to explore that and hang out in Covenant Garden for a while, grab dinner there, I guess. Then we're going to try to hit up Piccadilly Circus, and if we get there early enough, we can go to Fortnum and Mason, because I guess they close early, according to the notes. Um, and I know my friend really wants to go there. And then we'll go to pubs again, because it's London, and cheers, mate. That was Australian. Why did I say that? I'm tired. I blame it on my child who isn't sleeping. Hence the three cups of coffee. Oh, hold on, I need a drink. Okay. So then the next day is day one, two, three, four, five, or six if you count the travel day. And this is the day that shall not be named. And it has nothing to do with Harry Potter. It's one of the girls that's going her birthday, and apparently she doesn't like birthdays. So we are absolutely celebrating her birthday while we go. And we are starting the day off with a full English breakfast. And we were looking at places to go, and I discovered the breakfast club. So there's a good chance we'll be going there. At least, I mean, if we don't go that day, we're definitely going to go there for breakfast one day. But possibly this day. Um, it looks amazing to me because it's it looks like it's modeled or themed after the John Hughes movie, which is amazing. And they on their menu, they quote Bon Jovi. So how could I not go? That's amazing. Um, Super excited for that. So then we're going to go to the Tate Britain, which is her one and only I have to do while we're there. So we are obviously going to do that on her birthday, and I'm pretty excited about that. It was not on my list, not because I didn't want to go, but because I didn't think we'd have time. And my other, or other friend wanted to go and said, let's squeeze it in, and I'm all for that. So it's great. Then, then are you ready for this? I'm so excited. We're going to have afternoon tea at... The Orangery at Kensington Palace, and I'm so excited. I, like, freaked out when I found out that's what we were doing, where we were going. Um, I'm so excited. So, the Orangery is a greenhouse at Kensington Palace, and it is where Queen Anne used to entertain her court. So, history nerd right here, freaking out that I get to go have tea there. So excited. Um... And then we're just going to tour Kensington Palace and the gardens and everything. And I am, bah, freaking out about it. Um, 
And then we're going to go over to the Natural History Museum, which is like right there. And all I want to see is the dinosaurs. <laughs> That's it. That's all we're going for. Um, because, again, we don't have a lot of time. And really, that was the only reason I wanted to go there. So we're going to pop in for that and then pop out. And we're going to head over to the Victoria and Albert Museum, which is also right there. And that we're going to spend hmm, probably an hour, maybe more. Probably a little bit more. Um because they have the tiara room there and my one friend is obsessed with tiaras and it's adorable and she really wants to see that so we're gonna go check that out and that'll be fun then we're going to Harrods and are you tired yet because holy crap this is a lot of walking I'll be drinking a lot of caffeine while I'm there <clears throat> so we're gonna go hang out at Harrods and explore that that was on my list too actually almost everything I've said was on my list um, and maybe do some shopping. I don't know how much shopping I'll do because I'm not a big shopper. Like, I just, I don't like to spend money because I'm cheap. I'd rather spend it on travel and I have a really hard time buying anything for myself. Like I will buy stuff for everybody else and I will forget about me 100% of the time. Um, but then we're going to go over to... I guess we're going to go over to Shoreditch. I don't even know what that is or where it is. I need to look into that. Um, but we are going to have dinner at an Indian restaurant. I guess that was, that was another request that our friend had. And since it's her birthday, we are absolutely going to do it. And I've never had Indian food, honestly. And I've always wanted to try it. Um, it's just... I don't know of a lot of places around me that have it, and I know if I went down to the city, I would find them, but we don't go there as often as I would like, so um, we're going to have it in London. And then that night, this night, we're going to not one, but two speakeasies. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so the first one we're going to is called the Scaredy Cat, no, the Mayor of Scaredy Cat Town. And funnily enough, um, it is actually underneath the breakfast club that I was talking about. So each of the breakfast clubs, there's like five or six of them or something, and each one underneath has a speakeasy. And we had heard about this one, heard it was really cool, and then had no idea it was even underneath the breakfast club until I found it and then was researching that and discovered they were one and the same. And so we're going to go twice because we have to go eat there and then go to the speakeasy. And then after that, we're going to go over to Bar Nightjar. And we have a reservation for there. So, that'll be fun. Then the next day, oh my gosh, this must be day six. All right, so we're going to get up, and I don't remember what we're doing, because I think we've changed this morning up a little bit, and I don't have the new version printed out. So, I don't remember what we're doing, but... I know by like 9.30, so really not that late, we are going to be, maybe we're just having, no, that's what we're doing. We're just um, having a later morning, and then by 9.30-ish, we want to be go over to the Millennium Bridge, and we're going to walk across it and go to the St. Paul's, and just kind of tour the outside of it. I didn't necessarily need to do the tour on the inside. Um, I just wanted to, to get pictures and stuff from the outside. And then we might stop at the cafe and get a coffee or something. Um, then we're going to go over to St. Bartholomew the Great. His, I think it's a church, right? Yeah. Um, going over there. And we're going to tour that. And that is one of the other things I really wanted to do. I thought it sounded really cool. And I was watching um, a documentary on King Henry VIII. And they actually filmed a little bit of the documentary in there. And it looked really cool. So I'm excited to see that. Um... And then we're going to go to markets. So we're going to, I don't know how to say this again, so don't yell at me if I get it wrong. Um, Leidenhall Market, I think. Um, that's what we're going to, we're going to head over there. Just, I wanted to go to like some open air markets. Um, I've never, well, that's not true. I have been to one, but like not to this extent. So we're going to check that out. Probably, you know, grab food there for lunch. And then we're going to go to St. Dunstan in the East, which is an old church, I guess, was bombed during uh, World War II and is now a garden. And, like, um, the plants and um, things have grown up around the walls and everything. So we're going to check that out. And then I wanted to go to the Monument, um, which is for the Great Fire of London. 
and climb to the top. So def we're, I'm definitely do doing that. And then we're going to head over to Borough Market and just wander through there for a while. Then, so this must be the day for views because after that, our plan is to go over to the Shard and instead of going all the way to the top, which would be cool for the view, but also extremely expensive just to look out a window, um, we're going to hit up one of the bars and they still have a cool view because they're still on like the 32nd and 34th floor or something like that. Um, but, you know, you just have to buy a drink instead of paying 25 pounds to look out a window. So that's our plan there. Um, but if we cut it out because we're having too much fun wandering through Borough Market, we'll be okay. Um, and then this night is when we're going to see our show. So we are going to go see The Taming of the Shrew at the Globe Theater. And I'm really excited about this because I love Shakespeare. And um, we got Groundling tickets. So I was like, it's going to be very authentic. And I get to see one of his shows and his theater. And I realize it's not the original Globe, that it's been rebuilt because it burned down. I, I understand all that. But it's the principle. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, okay, so then our last full day there is after the the Taming of the Shrew. I don't know how I don't know how late it goes, and we might be tired, or we'll just hit a pub. But then the next day, our last full day, we are starting the day at my number one top five thing I had to do, the Tower of London. So excited! So, so for this day, we have like let's see, we want to be there by nine, and we have scheduled until like two o'clock to be there because there's so much to do. There's so much to see and we want to be able to see it all at, well, as much as we can, um, and really spend our time. And then we're going to go over to the Royal Observatory in Greenwich because I want to go see the Prime Meridian and have my picture taken in two hemispheres at once. How dorky is that? But I love it and I'm excited. Um, and then we'll just kind of, you know, wander around and tour the Royal Observatory and check that out. And then we've changed things up a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that this night we're going to go completely opposite end of London and go hit up Hampstead Heath. And there's a Spaniards Inn, I guess, um, which is a pub. I think there's a pub walk there. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, uh, my friend really wanted to go to Hampstead Heath. And even though she's been to London quite a few times, that's one place she's always wanted to go to and has never made it. So uh, I told her, let's do it. This is like the one thing that you haven't done that you really want to. Everything else she's done. So so we're I think we're going to do that. So we'll just have a... Uh, sorry. Ginormous itinerary. Um just kind of have a quiet night that last night and head back to the hotel pack because then we have to check out of the hotel at like 6 a.m. the next morning to get our flight. So that is our trip and there's so much we're squeezing in in that little amount of time and I couldn't be more excited about it and I can't wait to share it with all of you because that, that means I've gotten to experience it and I get to talk about it and share it with you and it'll be great. So... If you want to see more, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Bye.